Okay, you thought before it was exciting with the boxes and the beams, but now we get like crazy. We're gonna intersect a beam through a box. So I've already drawn my box. I decided to go above the horizon. You can do either or, it's your choice. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set myself up for the beam. So I'm gonna put the beam, the start of it, over here. I wanna just put it slightly outside the box and I don't wanna do it too much higher than the tip of the box. At least for this first time where we're new at this. Okay, so then I'm gonna draw really light through my box all the way through it because I am definitely going to need to erase some lines. I'm going to look at it and say, yeah, I'm happy with that. And this is going to be my short side of the beam. Again, using short, sharpened pencil, a good ruler. I have my vanishing point with my dots so I know exactly where I'm going. I'm going to decide how thick I want this beam, how long I want the beam. So that's how thick. And I'm going to have my beam, uh, I'm going to stop her about right here. Then I'm going to draw the bottom side, because remember my human on the horizon, looking up. And we're going to draw the bottom side, again, really light. And then we're going to attach and cut off that beam back here using the opposite vanishing point. Okay. So now it just is a little bit messy. We need to make some erasing. This isn't going to make any sense. So I'm going to erase the back side lines. But this side, we need to decide where we're going to, the beam is solid here. So we're going to erase the box. But we're going to decide where the beam stops the intersection. And you know what? Let's clean up this side because we don't want a dirty image here. And this side. Okay, so where does the beam enter into the box? And I would say, let's start about here. Okay, so I will draw, I have a dull pencil, that fat mark, see how messy that got? And then I'm going, so I have my vertical. I'm gonna take that bottom point and I'm gonna attach it to the farthest vanishing point from that point, all the way down. If I had gone this way, I would just continue that line, and that wouldn't do anything. So that makes sense, hopefully. Now I'm going to darken up my lines so we can see exactly what's going on. Clean her up. And for time purposes, I'm not going to erase too much because it's not fun watching somebody erase lines, but I would love for you to erase your lines. Make that look nice and clean and finished. And sometimes I'll go back through with ink when I'm feeling froggy, and that looks really good. Okay, so now I want to go and erase my lines here. And darken this one up again, because as I've erased, I've lightened up some of these lines, and we don't want that. Make sure you stay true to your original lines as not to change your vanishing point because that would be sad and look very confusing and then no one would think you're a magical artist. Okay, nice, right? Beam going through a floating box. 